We're at a crossroads. From time to time, a section of rail needs repair, but that doesn't mean the whole line needs replacement. The same way being proud of your history doesn't mean you're stuck in the past. No, we're not stuck. We hear the whistle blowing and we're inspired. Inspired by the legacy of the people who transformed this terrain into a rail yard that supplied America with the ore needed to win world wars. We're inspired by our unshakable identity, hanging tight like David facing down Goliaths, and we're moved by stories of our community's kindness. No matter who needs help, neighbors pitch in and get the job done. Hushed and humbled are more at play than pontification, but don't for one second think that means Proctor is a simple small town. It was built as a company town, and it continues down the tracks of time. And this rail revival is our destination. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome into the rail yard for tonight's contest featuring the two and one MIB Mountain Iron Rain, uh, Real Rangers and our very own Proctor Rail sitting at 0 and 1. Uh, Ted Keeman here along with 2023 grad Hope Carlson. Hope, how you doing? I'm doing good. How are you? You know, if I had a voice um, that didn't sound like I swallowed Kermit the Frog, I think I'd be <laughs> totally okay. Uh, but we're happy to have you. What's going on with you? Uh, Welcome home. Thank you. Yeah, it's good to be back. Right now, um, we're four games into the season. We are two and two. Last night we beat Augsburg, and we hadn't actually beat them since 2001. So that was a big win for us. So that was exciting. But other than basketball and school, I've not been up to much other than that. Just been just been busy doing that side of the things, huh? Yep. Well. I, the band is so loud. So I loud. Know, I don't know. I can hear you perfect. I don't know what I sound like. No, can, I can hear can you, you well. Hear okay, yeah. so hopefully the big folks at home can actually hear what I'm saying. But, you know, oh my goodness, they're loud. Lots to talk about with this Mountain Iron Beal team. You know, the, the, the champions in section, the section are, are in A last year, um, you know, who had a really good run, 30 and 3, um, and really only saw one one game in the in the playoffs that was a, 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 a call it a hassle for them and that's when they when they played the, the semi-final game it was like a law firm i can't remember what the name was uh belgrade rotten elbows i mean where they it was a 61 57 deal but then they go off for a championship against bold and they 52 to 21 yeah you kind of go wow you know how did that matchup happen you know you played against this team last year you know, what were their strengths that you can remember? I know it was down the road, but, um, you know, what were their strengths? What were the things that you guys prepared? What did you see and that we'll probably see from them again tonight? Yeah, I know last year they did a 1-2-2 two, two press or um, some sort of 1-1-2, one, 1-2-2, one, two, uh, one, two, two, a combination of that. And they're super fast offensively and super aggressive. So I'm guessing they're going to press again tonight and somehow get their shooter, Jordan, Zubic open. I'm guessing the run, a lot of flares, maybe back screens, and she's also a good driver, so I'm guessing Proctor's gonna box and one her, maybe have Paige or Lily or maybe even Chloe on her to start the half and keep rotating, but. Yeah, you know, you look at it, you look like a player like Lyra and Thomas, you know, rebound-wise coming in at, you know, 21 rebounds for Lyra, 19 for, uh, for, uh, for uh, Savala, uh, you know, not only are they quality on the offensive side of the board at getting those shots, but, you know, they're, they're getting for those dirty rebounds and have a real high number already only three games into the season. Yeah. You know, so we look at the other side with the rails, and the rails come in 0-1 right now. They lost to Crosby Ironton the other evening. Uh, you know, uh, it, it, tough deal there. But also that same team that they lost to in the playoffs last year. And sorry to throw that in the wound. <laughs> you, but, you know, what do they have that we just can't get past with Crosby Ironton? Yeah, um, obviously Tori is a phenomenal distributor offensively. 
and if you try to double team her, she'll get the ball to someone else and they can score and eventually that's what did us in playoffs last year and that's how they got beat uh, on Monday or Tuesday, whenever they played last. Yeah, when you guys played them in that, uh, I mean, they were your second game of the season last year in the 2022-23 season uh, and you beat them by almost 20. You know, and it, it's such a big difference there to, to have that turn to be almost that same type of a score from last night or from the first game of this season to that final game of last season where they really kind of just figured out our number yeah. uh, and, and were able to really, you know, put those bodies in the right spot and be able to, you know, defensively take care of business, but also then again, like, you know, like uh, MIB, be able to transition and have that offensive side of the game. Yeah, for sure. So let's talk a little bit about the keys to the game. So we're going to go to the visitors keys to the game first to talk about MIB. You know, their, their coach talked about, you know, it being two and one. Um, he talked about getting more speed or, and, and, and being able to have that tempo be up. He felt like in being two and one, thought they were a little bit slow, uh, off the ball, getting started, and really wanted to see a, a consistent tempo throughout the whole game. Um, then he talked about uh, uh, making sure that uh, they, they create a better transition uh, you know, making sure that uh, they're not turning that ball over in, in midcourt and being able to control it and make sure that they can make something uh, done offensively. And then controlling the dribble and making sure that they're not giving up that easy layup. And, you know, I don't know that he meant that so much towards us as an easy layup, but we've always been across the board a, a really good layup team. We, we, we go to the hoop really well, go to that block, drive through, and get there. Yeah, I think it'll be super interesting, especially with the shot clock now and how each team adapts to that. Yeah, the, the shot clock, you know, and that's another thing I was talking with, with, with Miss Nygaard about that a little bit ago. Um, you know, she watched that Crosby Ironton game, and she, you know, she talked about how with, you know, 8 to 12 seconds left on the clock, both of those teams were throwing up those shots yeah. instead of knowing they still had 10, 12 seconds. Yeah. Well, hey, we're going to talk about the uh, keys to the game for the home team when we come back. We're going to turn it over here uh, to the in-house PA, Mr. William C. He'll have our greed, the lineup, and the anthem. And then we'll be back with myself uh, and uh, hopefully we'll back right after that. Ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of Proctor Public Schools, good evening and welcome to the rail yard for tonight's matchup featuring the Rangers from Mountain Iron Buell High School. And your very own Proctor! A reminder, Proctor High School encourages positive sportsmanship and behavior at their activities. Please encourage players and coaches with positive comments and acts and respect the decisions of the game officials. We are here to cheer for our team and the players that represent our school. We are not here to single out players from the other team and make them feel bad. Stay classy and act like y'all's families raised you right. At this time, we'd ask that you please rise and kindly remove your hats as we have a moment of reflection for our past and present military men and women serving here at home and abroad. After a moment of reflection, we will have Carly Blevins with our national anthem. So proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming, whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly. 
The officials for tonight's game, as appointed by the Minnesota State High School League, are Ray Cozy, Greg Pevich, and Jim Karnas. And let's begin with the starting lineups for this evening's matchup. First, the starters for the visiting Rangers. Senior number three, Halle Savala. Senior number four, Jordan Zubich. Senior number 10, Gabby Lira. Senior number 21, Susie Aubrey. Freshman, number 23, Anna Nyans. Head coach for Mountain Iron Buell is Jeff Buffetta. And now, let's meet the starters for your Proctor Rails. Sophomore, number three, Chloe. Carlson. Junior, number four, Sierra Chacho Carlson. Junior, number 11, Paige Evans. Junior, number 12, Presley Tapani. Junior, number 22, Lily Smith. Head coach for the Proctor Rails is Matt Solberg. Give it up for your Proctor Rail. So there's your starting lineup for tonight's game uh, for the visitors. You got an eye, or pardon me, you got Haley Selvala. Uh, number 10, you got Gabby Lira. Uh, down on the other end, you got number four, Jordan Zubich, uh, 21, Susie Aubrey, and number 23, Anna Nyans. Uh, so that was your starters there. On the other side of the ball, number three, Chloe Carlson, number 14, Sierra Chacho Carlson, uh, number 11, Paige Evans, 12, Presley Tappany, and number 22, Lily Smith. Uh, you know, you know this team really well, Hope. Uh, you know, what are you looking to uh, see out of them here uh, for this home opener for the 2023-24 season? Yeah, I'm hoping um, Proctor can handle the ball against the pressure that MIB, I'm guessing, is going to put on them. Um, I hope we do a two-guard front against their 1-2-2, two, two, but we'll see what they plan on running. All right, well, we are having a little bit of ca uh, camera issues here as our folks are trying to fix that up for you. Um, and uh, they will, uh, they're trying to get that up and the ball went out of bounds, now pushed back inside. This is Evans. Evans looking to the top of the key. Carlson, there's a name you like to keep track of, right? And Chacho Carlson in the corner, now in the lower the tap and he off the foot, out of bounds. And gonna go the other way as there's a turnover for the rails. So here come the uh, Rangers now pushing it straight up court. Right in the corner, this is Aubrey. Back to the top of the key for Zerbich. Back. Now stuck in the corner is Savala. Now gets it inside. Lira back to the far side for the shot. Aubrey for three, and she hits it. So on the board first are the Rangers, 3-0. So now the Rails trying to break a... Uh, 
Pressure here on the court, now get it over the mid strike. Smith drives into the green, loses the handle, now pushes it out to Carlson. Tapping for three from the corner, and that's off the iron and off. Down with the board is Lira. And here come the Rangers. Jump stop. That was Nias, but missed that one. Pardon me, that was Nyans, I apologize, but for three is Zubic. Proctor's really gonna have to stop MIB's rhythm threes. As they, they're, uh, they're pushing up the floor really, really well, uh, and uh, in a fast pace like this is their gym. Oh, yeah. So and 10 second call is there, another turnover, and that'll give the ball to the Rangers in the offensive side of the floor. Again, one other uh, thank Hope for being with us tonight. Uh, and usually uh, Chad Brenner with us, but uh, he is running the pizza shop as Nikki and uh, Bing uh, are uh, not there this evening, so he had to stay there. So we're glad to have uh, Hope here with us. Nines now pushes now back to Nines. Here's the shot clock, brand new this year. That's up off the iron. Now well, foul going to be called. That's going to go against Nyans. So Nyans, her first, team first. And Smith to inbound for the rails. Looking for the help now to the far side to Carlson. Now pushing it up to the floor with some tempo. Now drives right to the paint, tries to go up for it, but off her hand, but it's gonna, they're going to say that it went off the hands of Zubic, and that'll stay green ball. Well, I guess really black, because they're wearing the black uniform <laughs> the green, right? This into Chacho Carlson. Now comes to the top side. That's going to go out of bounds, off the hands, with good defense there by Nines. And turnover for the rails again. That's three turnovers here in the early goings of this first half. Looking to in about save a lot. Zubic will bring it up to the floor for the Rangers. Now moves to her left. Now drives right into the paint. Gets it off right in the corner. Aubrey for three off the iron. Down with it is Smith. Tries to protect her dribble. Now throws it to Carlson left side. Little bit of contact. Smith stops to make sure that uh, Nyans is all right. Little fight underneath Evans. And can't get that to fall. Chacha Carlson down with the board and she's gonna draw the foul. So that foul is going to go against number 23, Anna Nyans. That'll be her second and team second. So you talked about making sure we stay out of foul trouble early as that tempo goes, and it kind of looks like it's on that other side of the floor with uh, the with, uh, Rangers maybe in a little bit of trouble. And Chacho Carlson on the board for the first points for the Rails. And hits them both, so Chacho Carlson 100% from the stripe. 6-2 your score here in the early goings. Thomas moves to her right side, now draws back. Seeing her at first action in the game, this is a shot by Savala. That's off the board. And Evans tries to save it and tried to uh, throw it to Chacho Carlson, but kind of got a weird angle on it, goes out of bounds, turnover, uh, and going to stay with the Rangers. Yeah, it's tough in the corner there. Not really much you can do about that. Yeah, that full body weight going forward and not really having a good control. So to inbound is Lyra and to Thomas. Thomas now going to move it around top of the key and giving that off to Zubic. Zubic, a name you'll probably hear a lot tonight. Zubic far side. Thomas for three. And she Six hits it. it. Rangers doing a great job of getting rhythm threes and finding that open player. You know, the thing we got to remember as we do this play-by-play, -play, or I have to remember, is that we have to remember we have a shot clock now. I gotta, yeah. I got to bring that into the, the conversation. It's happening now. Top of the key, off her foot, goes back and gets it. Now looking for help, looking for the step, gives it off to Carlson, left side. Coming back to her right now, down in the corner, looking for Chacho Carlson to give it back at the at the block, but nothing doing. It's happening. Good movement on the uh, offensive side here by the rails. Little shallow on that shot was Carlson off the board uh, for the Rangers and back into the offensive zone. Giving that dribble up is Zubic. Now off to Thomas to the corner. Wieda 
Pardon me, that's Aubrey, I apologize. And foul gonna be called, I believe that's gonna go on Tappany. That is Tappany's uh, first, team first. So the Rangers come in 30, 30 and three on last year's record and the Rails come in 20 and nine. Uh, both very respective, uh, respectable records. Kate Nelson now into the game for the Rangers as well. So they using the bench well. Thomas, top of key, Zub So 4-3 with Zubic. So Zubic with six points of the 12. So again, going to see her a lot. Chacho Carlson steps over now too close to that line. Now drives into the zone. Smith, baseline, looking for help. Tough pass there, but Chacho Carlson going to get it. And a foul going to be called. I'm not sure if that's going to go, who that, which one that's going to go against. It is going to go against Thomas. That'll be her first. Team's third. Chacho Carlson takes a seat, and so does Tappany. Uh, into the game is going to be Walker. And who else came in? I didn't see. Oh, Greta. Gust Greta Gustafson and Walker into the game. Carlson for three. Can't get that to fall down with the board. And coming back the other way is Lyra. Zubic, Thomas, top of the key now gives off to Nelson. Zubic, Thomas for three. And hits it. All of their points have been on threes. I think they're doing a great job of driving that gap drawing two and then passing to the open defender. I think that's yeah. the way to go right now. They're definitely getting the rails to chase. Yeah. And and, and, and and not even, you know, go out of whatever defense we're doing, whether whatever that zone is piece, but actually getting them to chase and get, allowing that shooter to be wide open. Especially when you have a team like Proctor that subs the gap when you're driving. I think all of those rhythm threes are just easy for them right now. Absolutely. Well, while we're taking a timeout, we want to make sure that we uh, thank our sponsors and our student workers for tonight. The Reed Foundation, the Rails Endowment for Academic Art and Athletic Development, Urban Community Club Polling for Kids, Tamarack Building Supplies up on Highway 53 in Hermantown, Heritage Window and Door, Superior, Wisconsin, Wittis Trailer Sales and Esco, Stream Dudes for all your streaming needs, streamdudes.com, Great Lakes Office Solutions, the Robin Barb Schaller Charitable Foundation, Troy Service Center on Main Street, Proctor Audiology Concepts with seven locations in Superior, Duluth, Grand Rapids, Forest Lake, Cambridge, Edina, and Burnsville, and Proctor Pizza and Sub Shop, Main Street, Proctor. And just quickly, our students that are working as you're watching the game, our leadership student here tonight is Erin Hank. She's in charge of the show. Who hit that one? Page. Evans, Evans for yep. two or three? Two. Two, perfect, thank you. I just uh, I had my eye on another sheet. Big shot there for Zubic, not able to get that to fall. It's gonna go out of bounds, go the other way. And finish up our students, our director, producer, Luke Smith, on our camera, Zach Edelstead, and on the scoreboard. And tech guru extraordinaire, Haley McDonald. Thank you to our students for uh, everything they do and for being here as Smith gets it into Evans. Now back to Smith, and Carlson gonna move it up over the offensive side. Walker in the corner. Gustafson, Smith. Now Carlson gonna drive into the paint, up off the block, can't get it to fall, goes wide side, but down with the board is gonna be Savala, and it looks like, oh, that foul's gonna go on Chloe Carlson. Oh, gonna go on 34, I was wondering about that. I was that. wondering, I didn't I, think she was close to the I play. I didn't think so either, but uh, I kind of go by what the officials says. You know, Chad, you you listen to our back to our broadcast, and as Chad and I always talked about, it's easy, easy to officiate from up here. You know, so I was, wasn't was gonna yell. So Greta Gustafson with her first foul, team second. And foul gonna go on Thomas. I think it's a smart move that Proctor decided to press put a little pressure. I mean, they're seeing it on the other side and we got a deep enough bench, why not? I mean, if we got a sub, we got a sub. Especially if they're doing it to us and you you only have a 35 second shot clock and if you can take even 10 seconds away, it dwindles that time to let them even make a shot. Right. Thomas out of the game with her second and Nyan's back in. She has two as well and looking to get it in. This is Evans. Evans across the midcourt to Carlson. Carlson now pushes down into the paint, far side. Walker up and Ian for two. 
So Walker for two to try to fight into this lead. 15-6, the Rangers lead. Driving, Zubic turns, fires, and gets that to fall. She seems like she can't do much wrong uh, on the floor, whether it's you know getting in defensively or the shot she's taking. Looks like everything kind of falling for her. Yeah, just super comfortable and dominant out there. Walker across the stripe, now back over to Carlson. Walker inside, and that is going to go straight up, but off the hands of the Rangers. You know, the one thing that was odd with me with that, not only was Chloe not close enough, but, you know, if I think about last season when she had the opportunity to play with you, she is not a name we called very often for fouls. She was usually pretty clean. Yeah. So, you know, that was just an odd play there in my book. So Smith into the paint now, far side, Gustafson, Evans. Comes back inside, Gustafson now going to drive the baseline, nowhere to go there defensively, and inside to Evans. Evans tries to throw it up off the glass, and that is going to go off the, out of bounds off the swat of Smith, and it'll go with the Rangers. Hey, did you see the new video board we got that we got to get working? That's awesome. It's pretty cool. I used it for volleyball uh, one game just to play with it a little bit, and it's pretty cool. And Are you going to put stats up there? Or? I don't know if we'll be able to do that. I mean, there's some way. The problem is, is we have to build every template we put up there. Okay. So we, it's a, like a from scratch thing. So there's probably a way to do like a halftime score, put, have both team logos. Good steal there by Carlson. Carlson up off the glass for two. So Carlson on the board for the first time tonight. Zubich doing a good job of just staying straight up and making sure she can't even be called for that foul. So Zubich tosses that into Savala, and Savala was on the line, so they're going to call that out of bounds, and it's going to go to the rails. So a turnover here that will help the rails in the offensive zone. Another thing we have to keep in mind is MIB is already three games in. Right. Proctor had their first game on the road. This is their first home game, and they do have a pretty young lineup. So once these, these girls can get used to playing with one another, I think the chemistry will be there. Not a senior, not a single senior on the team. It's crazy. So, yeah, it's crazy. Uh, Gianna Hansen into the game for the first time, also draws her first foul. And so now up the floor is going to be Zubich. Zubich driving. Zubich looking in, right inside to Savala, and she draws the foul on her way to the hoop. So that foul is going to go. Uh, Peyton Walker going to call, draw her first, team's fourth. And going to the shoot at the line is going to be Savala, or pardon me, Savala. I keep wanting to say Sav because of Sav. Yeah. But it's Savala. Both teams already have four fouls with about 11 minutes left. I think both coaches might go into halftime saying, we got to clean it up because they're calling everything tonight. So Smith to inbounds, gets it to Carlson. Carlson gonna drive left side, now looking for help, has Walker far side. Now into the offensive side, into the paint. This is Smith for three. Bingo, bingo, bongo, and we've got our three-point play. Well, they gave her a two on that. I thought it was a three, I'll have to check that, but I thought that was a three. Going back the other way. Our senior leadership walking around trying to fix some things, see if they can get batteries uh, working for our headsets here. Smith to inbound for the rails, and nobody there, not sure what they were thinking. But the cool part is no contact, no, pro no foul, right? Back up and over. Good toss there by Hanson, Walker. Carlson now going to take her player, sits, sets for three. That's a far left side. That's going to go out, and that'll be a turnover. So Gabby Lira back into the game, taking a seat as Sammy War was, uh, as she was in on the floor. And that's timeout. Timeout taken by the Rangers. We're going to take a quick timeout as well. We'll be back after word from a few of our sponsors. I've had this problem. Big problem. I really, really needed. A good mechanic. 
and I kept searching and searching. Ah, uh, there are so many choices. It's really hard to find one that has all the things on my list. But I finally did it. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you. If you were looking for one as well, look no further. Here is a really good one. Just use mine. Use mine. I'm very satisfied. Definitely recommend. Problem gone. Thank you. Who will our next generation be? What will they achieve? At Proctor Public Schools, we see great things in the future as we create an environment to educate, engage, and inspire our students to seek adventure, gain knowledge, and make a difference. What do we see in the next generation? We see greatness. Proctor Public Schools. Don't just plan to graduate. Graduate with a plan. And we're back here at the rail yard coming out of the timeout by Mountain Iron Peel, 1910. The Rangers lead the rails here in the home opener for the rails. The rails come in 0-1 after a loss against Crosby Ironton. Uh, foul going to be called. White four, that's going to be going uh, Zubich. And uh, so that's her first team's fifth. You know, you talked about that whole foul thing already. You were halfway in and, you know, uh, Proctor almost, well, actually, honestly, both teams almost the bonus already. Yeah. Might not matter as much now, but when we get to the last few minutes of the second half, they're definitely going to matter. LEP's into the game now for the uh, rails. So you got Evans, Hanson. I mean, I guess even now, 10 minutes left, next shot Proctors and bonus, that could be really good for them. Absolutely, 100%. So Pease and Evans, Walker, Hanson, and who am I living? Oh, and Walker out there, or, or Carlson, sorry, for the rails. And eight seconds left, shot clock inside. Gotta get that shot off, this is Walker for three. Bingo! So Peyton Walker for three. She cut this to a six-point game. Uh, Rails uh, starting to get some business. Zubich, straight, straight down the floor. And be able to, big save there by Lira. Inside Lira, Lira turns into the paint. Now looking to give it up. This is Zubich for three. And she uh, gets her stuck. That should be a negative three. I always <laughs> said that. If you get it stuck, it should be a negative three. That's all right. You know, sometimes it happens. What can you do? Hey, I'm just going to let either you talk for a minute or just let them listen to the sounds. I'm going to try to fix this camera issue that okay. we're having, and I'll be right back. All right, so they call that a jump ball. Mountain Iron Buell will take it out from underneath. Little miscommunication with that screen there, and Peyton Walker will take it down the floor for Proctor. Look at you, I just turned it over to you, and I don't have to work anymore. <laughs> So Proctor has been able point. to slow down MIB's tempo a little, so we'll see how much they can maintain it. And they're going to call Walker on that, I believe. Yep, uh, Peyton Walker going to get that foul on a defensive charge. That's her second team's fifth, so again, here we go. Zubic not somebody we want at the line, in my opinion, after how she's playing this evening. Yeah, she's a phenomenal shooter, and no matter where you put her, three or free throw line, she's going to drain them. So Lily Smith back in, Tapney back in, Evans and Walker will take a seat. Hey, the one thing I don't know if you've noticed, did you see the new side baskets? Oh my gosh, wow. Everything matches. I love it. We got rid of the 1960 <laughs> rounded baskets. The old rackety rims, yeah. too. If you want one, I'll sign it. You can take it out. <laughs> It's happening top of the key, now over to Carlson. Carlson gonna drive down to her left now, tried to throw it inside, and a nice easy bucket there for Tappany from Chacha Carlson. Proctor really needed that one. That was, that was good transition down the floor, good way to get the ball through the paint as MIB really hung to that left side. Tappany all by herself. 
Uh, and now helps their momentum for at, sure. And now Zubic there, a shot that we saw her make three times in a row, not really getting that shot to fall now. Like you said, kind of knocking them off that tempo and, and yeah. that comfort piece. Inside, Chacho Carlson able to say that in the hands of, gonna get a call on, travel on Chacho Carlson. So 20 to 15, at one point, it was a uh, 12 point lead uh, for uh, MIB and thinking that there, we weren't gonna have much of a picture here. Yeah, once they kind of stopped their rhythm threes, got them to slow down their tempo a little, they haven't been able to score as efficiently. Thomas now at the top of the key being pressured, and that knocked out of the hands by Chacho Carlson. Little chase and give. This is Lira, Lira to the top of the key for Thomas. Thomas can't get it to fall, but right there for the board. Oh, big block by Good Carlson. Good deflection. Where did she get that height? <laughs> wow, she got up. Let's go. So good defense there by Carlson. She goes out, getting a break, and uh, Evans back in as they are uh, really uh, trying to double up on Zubich. Tappany almost got, or Tappany did get body there, no call though. Zubich for two, so right now Zubich their point leader. At 11, 11 of the 22, half the points belong to Zubich. That's gonna go out of bounds as Pease goes off the hands. So possession's going to MIB here to inbound is gonna be Savala. So Savala, Thomas, Zubic, uh, Nelson, um, and Lira on the floor for the Rangers. This is Lira, drives into the paint. Now, oh, little block there by Chacho Carlson and ended up to plug the lane. Zubic, drive the paint. Evans, good standpoint, but up and over as she's got the height advantage. So the Rangers pressing again. And Smith, Chacho Carlson. To the strike, now gives it off. P. Smith, little crisper on the passing oh. here. That one, good idea, but right into that waiting hands of Savala. Zubic, and she hits that three that we were talking about. After making those two back to back, she definitely has her rhythm back now. And with being six feet tall, I mean, she's the tallest one out there, and she's their point guard, so that's definitely an advantage for her. It's hard to, to have that height and try to, to uh, get a body to defend that. Smith yeah. goes up. They're going to call jump ball. That's Jim Carnes, the official over there on that side. And the possession arrow is with the rails. Chloe Carlson back in as Pisa take a break. The uh, rails bent super deep this year. Uh, the only player missing here tonight is Olivia <laughs> Morin Swanson. Uh, as uh, she is traveling. Uh, I know she's tuning in right now, so hi, I Liv. I hope she is, and <laughs> Liv, we want you home. I know you. I we miss you. I talked to, uh, 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 oh, sorry, just watching the play as there's a bucket for Lyra. Talked with Diane, and I know she wants to stay longer, but we need yeah. you home, Liv. Come on home. I think in London it's 1 a.m., she said right now, so she's up late watching this game. That's good. Give us that thumbs up like there, Liv. And Zubic going to come back. Got a player down on the floor. Is that Chacho Carlson? Sure is. And no whistle as it's away from the play, and off to go get that is Smith. And now there's a whistle. Chacho Carlson on the floor. Uh, while we uh, take an injury timeout, we're going to take a break and we will go to uh, a couple of commercials. We'll be back right after this. Proctor Pizza and Sub Shop. Proctor Pizza offers baked pizza, unbaked pizza, subs, tacos, wraps, salads, tater tots, nachos, burritos, and more. Proctor's local family business for over 35 years. Proctor Pizza offers brand new monthly specials, such as the taco pizza, bacon cheeseburger pizza, Hawaiian pizza, and more. Proctor Pizza. So back here at the rail yard, uh, uh, 
just lost every thought I had in my head. Uh, Chacho Carlson uh, being taken care of off the floor. Uh, we're going to have a little time out here as uh, things get uh, kind of settled down. Uh, looks like the three on the floor uh, for the rails are going to be uh, Carlson, Walker, Tappany, Evans, and Smith. Uh, not sure what the other side is going to be, but we do have some blood on the floor that uh, has to be cleaned up the right way. Uh, I'm hoping what I can do with this little bit of time uh, is A, I can find out, uh, since we have people that are listening and watching from home and I'd always love to give us updates, first off, is my voice better? I do apologize if you haven't been able to hear me, uh, but a uh, little bit of a head cold and uh, not uh, the clearest voice, so if you could let me know, uh, Miss Nyberg, uh, if you uh, have a better uh, audio for me, that would be great. If not, I will continue to work on that. Uh, and then uh, just for those of you turning in, tuning in late, uh, the, uh, the one and the only, the uh, Hope Carlson 2023 uh, grad here from Proctor uh, is the one joining me tonight as uh, Coach Brenna couldn't be with us. Uh, and uh, so we really appreciate you being here. Thank you for having me. I'm happy to be here. So what brings you home? Or we just uh, time off or just wanted to see this first home game? I, uh, I wouldn't miss it for the world. I want to see all my, my little teammates. They're not so little anymore. A I know. Of, that's the growing. sad part. They're, they seem little to me, but they're out here dominating and... I, I just can't believe it. Well, you know, that's the thing is, and, you know, I know it sounds kind of morbid, uh, but uh, from the day we're born, we're dying, and that means we got to get bigger. <laughs> it just kind of happens. So back into play now. Smith puts the ball into Evans. Evans going to bring it up as MIB kind of takes that pressure, that full court press off a little bit. Gives a little good, a little bit of defense, but not actually uh, in. Nice ball inside to Evans. Could she get oh, the ball? Oh, got the roll. Draws. So Evans gets that to fall and uh, cuts into that lead. Good deflection and by Lily Smith. Page taking it down. Travel going to be called on the pass. So another turnover. You know, it's the it's the turnover so far that I think if I think if we take away even their momentum, their tempo, and uh, and Zubich, I think if we are consistent like this with steals as Walker comes up. Big pass, Evans able to hang on to it. Nice jump stop, doesn't travel. Now comes back up, gonna reset. Evans looking for help. She's got Walker down in the left corner, now dribbles back out, tapping it. Yeah, I think a big thing with those turnovers is having a lot of young girls playing together for the first time and eventually you just gotta work those kinks out. Jump ball gonna be called, gonna go the other way, uh, go with, uh, the uh, Rangers, the one thing that I do notice that we do a lot, and, and we've done it for years, uh, it, it, whether we're seniors, uh, I mean, sorry, I hate to say it, but seeing you do it as well, uh, <laughs> and things like that, is we don't tend to do what we're supposed to do uh, with getting that ball up above our head instead of getting it down here where we get that jump ball happening. Oh, yeah. So I'm going to try to turn me up just a little bit, and I'll turn this down so I don't blow your ear, ear out. Uh, and because as Another three for MIB, wow. And who hit that one? What number? Um, Susie Aubrey, Aubrey number 21. For three, perfect, thank you. I, the only way I can teach this. So hopefully I just turned myself up a little bit more, so hopefully uh, I'm hearable. <laughs> Otherwise, I'm just going to turn it over to you, and you, <laughs> and you can just take over, and I'll just sit here quietly and do all, like, the paperwork type stuff. That was another turnover for Proctor. Just too high of a pass. I think we're a little frantic right now, but. I just got the perfect from Miss Nyberg. So uh, hopefully uh, even with this Kermit the Frog, nice another turnover there as a rough pass uh, from Savala. Top of the key, Walker for three. Another Bingo. three for Walker. She's doing good keeping her head and just executing on those plays for Proctor. 100%, 12 point lead now here uh, with just about four minutes left. And Zubich can't get that one to fall, but there for the board was Lyra. But now good hustle by Lily Smith crashing on that board. And we're gonna have a jump ball and the possession arrow goes the way of the rail. So another turnover for the Rangers that could now maybe cut this into a 10 point lead instead of this 12 points. One thing that Proctor has been really good at is being resilient, and although they have had turnovers, they've been able to force turnovers on MIB's end, too. And that foul there is going to go against Savala, or Savala. And Evans will go to the line for bonus. Love that. So uh, 
Sable is first, team seventh, and now in the bonus are the rails. So going to the line, one and one is Evans. Honestly, I have to say I'm a little surprised it took him seven minutes to get that extra foul. Agreed. I'm being told we are now the same volume. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> and my, my stuff is really loud, and Evans hits the two-point play the old-fashioned way. So cuts it to 10 here with uh, four, just shy, one second shy of four minutes. Inbounding the ball is Savala. She gets that into Zubic. Now pushes up to the high side to Aubrey. Aubrey into the offensive side. Savala, Hanson tried to get a hand in there uh, against Lyra. Lyra driving back, pushing Hanson back, but Hanson will stand up tall. Far side. Lyra drives paint, floater, can't get it to fall, but offensive charge going to be a call against the Rangers and number three, Savala, as uh, standing her ground was Walker, and she said, not in my paint. <laughs> That's a big one for Walker, especially after hitting those two threes for the rails. While wow, another foul on Savala. So Savala now has her back third. Back to back to back. And that's her third. And uh, that, uh, that puts the rails one foul away from being in the double bonus and shooting two for the next, uh, call it, let's say three minutes if there were to be another one here inside of that, because uh, I don't think they're going to get one in 38 seconds, but we never know. So at the line is Evans, and again, uh, well, I'm not going to say what I was just going to say because last year I said it, and that happened. <laughs> so I'm not going to say it. Uh, usually Evans is uh, an automatic from the stripe. Zubic, right side now, drives into the paint, pushes it off, and that's shy. That's Good into the hands of Carlson. Yeah, that's into the hands of and waiting hands of Carlson. She's going to push that up across half court and drives into the paint, pushes it out to Evans. Evans pops it right away for two. Bam. Proctor's got a bit of a rhythm going after those three fouls from MIB, so we'll see how they answer it. Well, that does make a big difference. I mean, Sable is one of those yeah. players that doesn't leave the floor a whole lot, you know, so it's going to make a difference. Was. Yeah, her and Zubic seem to be the dynamic duo working together. And once you have one of them off the floor, I think it just throws off the tempo a little bit, so we'll see how they respond. Nelson's shot doesn't fall, and off the board is Hansen. And Carlson will bring it into the offensive side of the floor. So that's going to be one of those deals. You take away one of the dynamic duels and another travel on the rails. Got to learn to get that ball out of the hand or get a jump yep. stop as you go to do that pass. Uh, as, so we quit turning. I mean, that's got to be our fifth or sixth turnover on a travel in this half. Yeah. MIB is doing a good job of crashing. So once we pick up our dribble, we're just, we just look a little timid out there once we see a little pressure. Thomas almost had the ball taken from her by Pease. Now Zubic has to, that foul is going to go against Pease, I believe. And that is correct. That'll be at least first, team sixth. Thomas in a Zubic. Nice high floater. Uh, Nelson came around for the ball, but no give as Zubic said, I'm hanging on to that. Lyra drives, now pushes that back out to Nelson. Nelson gonna move to her right, has Thomas down in the right side, but gives it to Lyra, now pushes, pushes it off to Aubrey. Aubrey can't Good get it to fall. Good board by Hanson pulling Hansen that down. Hanson down with the board, and there's that 10th that foul. Yep. And with just about 2.12 left, and that is, uh, that is gonna go against Susie Aubrey, that'll be her first, team's 10th, and now in the double bonus are the rails for two minutes. Down by eight, these two free throws are big for Proctor. So the rails, you said resilient. They've always been resilient. I mean, you've been playing since, you what, you were eighth grade? Yeah. For the rails? Yep. I mean, you, varsity. You know, that's the thing that's always been about the rails teams as Hanson misses the first one. But that's the thing that I've always seen about the rails teams and, you know, not being... Well, I, I believe I'm a proctor right now. I've been doing this long enough for 10 years and that I bleed green. But it's that lunchbox mentality, that go to work, make it happen. Whether it's football, hockey, basketball, baseball, something, you guys just put your head down and go to work. Yeah, that's one thing I love about proctors. Everyone's there to, to work and get better and grind. And you see all of these kids. I mean, even when I was there, every single player was in the gym, either shooting or 
physically in the gym, getting better lifting to help the team grow and get better. Absolutely. And Zubich tries to move around the right side. Hansen gets a hand in it, knocks it out. It'll go out, and uh, the uh, Rangers will retain Lira to inbound to Zubich. Zubich, top of the key for Thomas. Thomas hits the three. Thomas, nine points, all threes. And the clock ticking. Carlson back to Evans now, up to Pease. Hansen takes that out of the waiting hands of Thomas and able to retain possession. Evans, 22 on the shot clock. This is Carlson. Can't get that to fall, but Good right there is Hansen. Hansen. Back to the top for another reset. I wonder why the play clock, uh, the shot clock didn't reset there. That hit iron, didn't it? Isn't it the isn't the high school shot clock the same as college and stuff where it hits iron and yeah, it resets? resets? I didn't see it. Now it reset. Oh, re but it didn't reset because there was 22 seconds on that shot. We came down with the board and then it didn't. It, there was like eight yeah, seconds. It should have reset. I thought that was odd. Anyways, Zubic comes up the floor here. Ten point game. Rangers lead. Far side. Thomas for three. Can't get that one to fall. And Another Hansen good down board by the, Hansen. She is going her to work is on the really board. Really helping her out there. Inside, Smith now pushes it to Hanson. Hanson for a little jumper and gets out the foul. Got it down. So not only is she doing it on the... Uh, on Three the, boards and then a bucket. That's what we love to see. And one for one for, or one for two from the strike. And another, another charge offensive Proctor's charge. A phenomenal job of getting in the way and standing their ground and planting. Absolutely. Lyra's first. Teams, uh, well, it doesn't matter because it stays at 10. End of the game, Walker Pease will take a break as we got 41 seconds left here in the first half. At halftime, we're going to play our commercials, let you hear from our sponsors, uh, and then we'll come back, we'll talk stats, and uh, get ready for second half action. So Carlson now going to bring it up the floor as uh, MIB putting a little more pressure on that press now. Smith, far side Evans. Evans looked to swing it. Noah hangs onto it now into the corner for Walker. Walker for three. Bam! And as she hits another one. The freshman phenom out there, I love it. So Walker really trying to buy into this ball game for the rails, and that's another one. Zubic trying to force now and not really able to have that control, and here come the rails. Evans for two. Dwindled that lead away, and that's just the Proctor resilience right there. 100% far side now. Hanson now needs to do that clean, and I knew she wasn't going to. That's going to be a floor foul anyway. But that foul will go against Hanson as the half and expires. And she will shoot bonus. So Hanson gets called for the foul. And going to the line, should shoot the one and one is Lyra. That's a tough call because, you know, you don't want him to make that easy layup, but also it's tough not fouling, not, you know, guarding that straight up. Yeah, you know, Coach Brenna always talks about that, and I know you guys always laugh yeah. at us about a good foul, bad foul. You know, if she comes to the stripe here and only hits one of these, that's a good foul. That's a good foul, and I know people used to get mad at us for saying it, but it's, it's reality. If they don't have two points and they only get one of the two, I mean, that's a good foul. That was a good foul. Good foul. So, I mean, right there, no points. That saved that a, a bigger lead of going back to 10 points instead of being eight. Yeah, Proctor is lucky there, though. Zubic got that, those two O-boards down. She just didn't get that shot in. 100%. Well, we're going to go take a break. So we're going to take a break and listen to all of our commercials. We'll be back right after this. Can't hear the TV? Need to protect your hearing? Audiology Concepts connects patients to their lives again by offering ear cleanings, providing earplugs for protection in loud environments, and helping people get hearing aids. Audiology Concepts also offer hearing evaluations, verification of hearing aids, and hearing aid repairs. There are seven different locations across Minnesota and Wisconsin. Audiology Concepts, you'll love what you hear. Proctor's Reed Foundation was established to enable life-enriching academic, art, 
and athletic activities which cannot rely on traditional funding in the Proctor School District communities. Reed has provided grants for the Imagination Library, numerous sports teams, Rails TV, A Night to Shine, The Playground for Everybody, and most recently, Reed helped the Proctor Fire Department invest in life-saving handheld thermal devices. Visit rea3d.org to learn more about how you can support Reed and help your community. I choose the Heritage Window and Door because of their reputation and because of their renewal Anderson windows that they have. And their workmanship was fantastic. I'm so impressed. Your home is your largest investment. Don't waste your money on cheaper windows. These are the best. It's my money and I'm going to spend it where it's going to do me the best good and it happened to be Heritage Window and Door. They really know how to treat a customer. This has been an excellent experience. For years, Troy Service Center has been the go-to auto repair shop in the Proctor community. Quality and efficient repairs make it more convenient to have your vehicle serviced. Troy's has always been for the community. That's why they have been favored by Proctorians alike. But don't just take our word for it. Check out the many reviews on their service. Troy's Service Center can ensure that your vehicle keeps your life driving forward for years to come. Troy's Service Center has been for servicing and repairing vehicles for three generations. To contact Troy's Service Center, call 218-642-3322 or visit troyservice.com. Protect your investments this winter with an enclosed trailer from Wittis Trailer Sales, located in ESCO. We also sell cargo trailers, utility trailers, snowmobile trailers, and much more. Did you know we stock a full line of Heinecker snowplows? While you're here, shop the largest selection of Mahindra tractors in the area. Don't forget about our service center, ready to tackle jobs of any size. Wittis Trailer Sales in ESCO, where customers become friends. potentials, lots of different options with the different loans that are out there. You know, what we'll do is we'll talk to you about your scenario, your situation. We'll figure out what actually works best for you. Um, but the key is what is going to be the most cost effective. So we will compare conventional versus FHA, you know, USDA versus, you know, FHA, different types of things that way. You know, sometimes even if you're a veteran, the VA loan might not actually make the most sense. You know, just because there are some fees associated with that loan that you might be able to do the same type of loan but do it cheaper with a different type of a program you know but again that's something that we will figure out you know we'll figure out the best scenario for you we'll give you the options but we'll obviously lead you in the right and most cost effective way to uh, purchase or refinance that help I've had this problem. Big problem. I really, really needed a good mechanic. And I kept searching and searching. Ugh, there are so many choices. It's really hard to find one that has all the things on my list. But I finally did it. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you. If you were looking for one as well, look no further. Here's a really good one. Just use mine. Use mine. I'm very satisfied. Definitely recommend. Problem gone. Thank you. Who will our next generation be? What will they achieve? At Proctor Public Schools, we see great things in the future as we create an environment to educate, engage, and inspire our students to seek adventure, gain knowledge, and make a difference. What do we see in the next generation? We see greatness. Proctor Public Schools. Don't just plan to graduate. Graduate with a plan. Proctor Pizza and Sub Shop. Proctor Pizza offers baked pizza, unbaked pizza, subs, tacos, wraps, salads, tater tots, nachos, burritos, and more. Proctor's local family business for over 35 years. Proctor Pizza offers brand new monthly specials, such as the taco pizza, bacon cheeseburger pizza, Hawaiian pizza, and more. Proctor Pizza. Can't hear the TV?
Need to protect your hearing? Audiology Concepts connects patients to their lives again by offering ear cleanings, providing earplugs for protection in loud environments, and helping people get hearing aids. Audiology Concepts also offer hearing evaluations, verification of hearing aids, and hearing aid repairs. There are seven different locations across Minnesota and Wisconsin. Audiology Concepts, you'll love what you hear. Proctor's Reed Foundation was established to enable life-enriching academic, art, and athletic activities which cannot rely on traditional funding in the Proctor School District communities. Reed has provided grants for the Imagination Library, numerous sports teams, Rails TV, A Night to Shine, The Playground for Everybody, and most recently, Reed helped the Proctor Fire Department invest in life-saving handheld thermal devices. Visit rea3d.org to learn more about how you can support Reed and help your community. I choose Heritage Window and Door because of their reputation and because of their renewal Anderson windows that they have. And their workmanship was fantastic. I'm so impressed. Your home is your largest investment. Don't waste your money on cheaper windows. These are the best. It's my money and I'm gonna spend it where it's gonna do me the best good and it happened to be Heritage Window and Door. They really know how to treat a customer. This has been an excellent experience. For years, Troy Service Center has been the go-to auto repair shop in the Proctor community. Quality and efficient repairs make it more convenient to have your vehicle serviced. Troy's has always been for the community. That's why they have been favored by Proctorians alike. But don't just take our word for it. Check out the many reviews on their service. Troy Service Center can ensure that your vehicle keeps your life driving forward for years to come. Troy's Service Center has been servicing and repairing vehicles for three generations. To contact Troy's Service Center, call 218-642-3322 or visit troyservice.com. Protect your investments this winter with an enclosed trailer from Wittis Trailer Sales, located in ESCO. We also sell cargo trailers, utility trailers, snowmobile trailers, and much more. Did you know we stock a full line of Heinecker snowplows? While you're here, shop the largest selection of Mahindra tractors in the area. Don't forget about our service center, ready to tackle jobs of any size. Wittis Trailer Sales in ESCO, where customers become friends. potentials, lots of different options with the different loans that are out there. You know, what we'll do is we'll talk to you about your scenario, your situation. We'll figure out what actually works best for you. Um, but the key is what is going to be the most cost effective. So we will compare conventional versus FHA, you know, USDA versus, you know, FHA, different types of things that way. You know, sometimes even if you're a veteran, the VA loan might not actually make the most sense. You know, just because there are some fees associated with that loan that you might be able to do the same type of loan but do it cheaper with a different type of a program you know but again that's something that we will figure out you know we'll figure out the best scenario for you we'll give you the options but we'll obviously lead you in the right and most cost effective way to uh, purchase or refinance that house good and welcome back uh, to the rail yard as the Proctor fight song is being played, and again, we're having some camera issues. We're going to have to figure that out uh, going forward here. Uh, I'm not sure uh, what the issue is, but we'll get it fixed going forward. Um, just getting looped to... Hold on. If you push number two, it'll go right to the camera. If you push the number two button, it'll go right to the camera. Oh, it, it, uh, it unjustified uh, itself? Okay, gotcha. No big deal. So coming out of half, uh, we talk some points here, uh, Hope. Uh, for those of you who don't know, Ted, keep it along with Hope Carlson. I know that's nothing they've ever heard before, except for when we were talking game when you were playing. <laughs> uh, but coming out of, you know, looking at the stats, Zubic is everything we said she would be. Oh, yeah. I mean, leading the team with 16 points and that real big outlet for them. Uh, you know, but on the other side, you know, the junior, Paige Evans, leading with, uh, or pardon me, not the junior, the freshman in Peyton Walker with 11, uh, and then Evans right behind her, the junior, with 10. 
uh, with a good matchup there with, you know, 21 of those 32 points that we have uh, as the uh, Rails just turn the ball over. So this is the Villabrun. Villabrun throws that uh, out of bounds. Oh, no, that was not. I take that back. That uh, was Nyans. Nyans throws that out of bounds. So turnover. So Rails got lucky on an even, even turnover. Yeah. Uh, and they can kind of just restart. That'll be the difference in the game. Who turns the ball over last? So now Smith will bring it up over half court and does. Far side, Chacho Carlson looking like she's better and back into the game inside of Tabby. Tabby just got a little too deep, but Smith trying to get there. And not sure. Oh, she's going to say she stepped out on the touch and it'll be a turnover. Uh, but uh, Tabby just got a little too deep there. Uh, she came through the through the paint. She stays a little higher. She gets that and she can lay that up. Yeah, the defense had time to collapse back on her. So bringing the ball up now is Savala. Savala into the corner for Aubrey. Savala. Savala turns, drives into the paint, now pushes it out. This is for Ni uh, Nyans. Nyans can't get that to fall, but it's going to go the other way. Savala's fourth foul. Yeah. That's a big one. So Savala draws her four teams first. So she's going to take a seat. <clears throat> and Smith to inbound. Evans. Evans now going to ring it around and bring it back to Smith. Smith going to bring it up as that uh, floor general. Saw that a lot with Smith last year. She controls the ball well. She's usually pretty good on the dribble. And getting a hand in there is Aubrey, but uh, going to stay with the rails. You know, last year you dealt a lot with two different players that really took their took their perspective turns of bringing the ball up the floor, whether whether it was Chloe or, or whether it was Smith. You know, they both did a really nice job and still do uh, of doing that. But now with you gone and off the floor, that height presence, now they have to really kind of spread that out. And, it, and you see a lot of it being more being Lily that brings that ball up. It is almost that floor general. Yeah, I know Lily has been working really hard in the off season, like she always does, and. I'm really proud of her, and just watching her grow and develop has been an honor. Shot taken there by Thomas, and down with it is Evans, and here come the rails back in the offensive end. Now the both teams, I mean, we're sitting at the same score we started the half with in a, almost about four minutes in, and it's been missed shots and turnovers. Yep, that's the name of the game right now. Inside, they're going to say a kick on, on Smith, but... You know, better than that, getting through into the waiting hands of Aubrey, who had a wide open basket or uh, layup attempt. So inbounding is Nyans. Solberg it, just calling out is. the plays before they even run them. Yes, they, 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 well, I mean, it's not like we haven't seen it, right? Yep. So Lyra for two off that play as being trapped down below was. Looks like Zubich. MIB is in a 2-2-1 two, two, right now. And draws the foul. The and one for Lily Smith. So Lyra called on the foul. Smith, great job drawing that contact and finishing through. So at the line, going to shoot two is Smith. And she hits the first. Drains it. That first game of the year, I always got to go, where's the jersey number? Where's the jersey number? As I'm keeping <laughs> yep. track of points. So she hits the three-point play the old-fashioned way as she drew that foul, and that's inside. That's going to be pushed into the corner. And a long shot taken by Aubrey. Offensive route. Oh. Carlson going to get called for her first. First in contact. That'll be her first, team's first. It's a tough angle there. Thought she could get the steal, but ended up being a foul. Zubic to inbound, easy bucket easy there. Easy layup backside. For Libra, for Lyra, sorry. There's no B in her last name. <laughs> and Carlson now looking for the help with tapping. Smith, jump stop, and got hit as she throw, threw it over, but nothing there. Pop the shot, gets it Ooh. to fall is Smith. Beautiful height on that shot too. Yeah, she did that. That was a Sports Illustrated picture. Got up, tucked the legs, got a good bounce. 
Zubich now inside. Lira gives it off to Thomas. Thomas, good defense by Tappany. Travel, going to be called against Nyans. So there's another turnover. And the rails are now only down by two. Getting ready to come in is Isabel Wieda for the Rangers. Rails did a nice job in the first half, about halfway through, uh, really kind of taking away the tempo of the Rangers and really kind of changing that game. Nice deal there again. Chloe Carlson all by herself for two. And we got a tie ball game. We have a tie ball game. We had a turnover to start it off, and then we stole it right back and got a layup. You know that, but it's, and I hate to go back to the well, and, but it, it just makes a sense. It goes back to what you were talking about and, and how we talked about that lunchbox mentality. Okay, so we turned it over, but we didn't hang our head. We didn't get ugly about it. We didn't go, oh my God. You know, we stayed in it. We played it. We got the turnover back. Nice, easy layup underneath. Tied this ball game up. Yeah, Proctor's done a great job of keeping their composure and staying down and just keep going after that ball no matter how many they're down. But that goes, that goes a lot to not only coaching, but the leadership over the last few years, whether it was uh, Sam, Peyton, yourself, and others. Uh, I mean, think of the lineage that has taught these girls to keep their head up and yeah. not hang it just because something goes wrong. There's, there's 40 minutes in a game, yep. and three seconds does not decide the fate of how that game goes. And, and, I, and that's really kind of showing tonight, especially against what we can all sit and talk about until they get knocked off the podium or they don't make the tournament the number one team in single A. Yep. You know, I mean, so to have them come out and, and really play their game and keep that head up just means a lot. Yeah, they do a great job of not making one mistake snowball into many others. So it'll be Ranger ball here with 14:42 uh, second half. And inbounding the ball is Isabel Wieda. Wieda seeing her first action of the evening. And that is, yep, and Wieda. Split the middle of them both. Going to go far side. Thomas now pushes it back into the waiting hands of Nyans. One thing MIB does a really good job of is hitting that one more. We have gotten stuck a on lot the line. of rhythm threes. Oh, going to be a Ooh. foul called there on Tappany as they were both going for the ball. And uh, Gabby, Gabby Lira goes down. Well, I don't think there is going to be a foul call. I don't think there was foul, no. Nope. I thought maybe the way Tappany came in. Just, yeah. But ball goes out of bounds. That's what the whistle was for, and possession will be for the Rangers. Zubic drives right side, tries hey. to pop it. Carlson. Carlson got another big up there. Carlson read that all that time in the gym playing against me. I guess it paid off on that taller defender. That is or taller offender, I offender, guess. Offender, yeah, in that aspect, right? So, uh. Ball is Thomas to end ball. And that's right into the Another block. hands of Lyra. And they're going to say again off the rails. That's going to go off Chacho Carlson. And it'll stay with the Rangers. And they are looking to maybe call a foul late, which would be interesting. They are going to call that. So they are going to give that to Chacho Carlson. That's going to be her first team second. <clears throat> so that possession will stay with the Rangers. I'm a little surprised they called a foul out of that. I don't think I saw it. I, I know I didn't, uh, but again, Nyans for the three, but down off it are the rails. Here comes Smith driving into the, into the offensive side. Lira was right there. Thomas gets a hand on it and another turnover. Good save by uh, Thomas. Thomas now into the corner. Lyric moves to her right. And that's, I'm not sure about that. I'm not an official, but, but. Uh, Lyric has done a great job driving into that defense, drawing two and finishing. So Tappany's going to get her second as she was moving to defend along that baseline. Walker going to come in as Tappany takes the seat. Walker's done a nice job defensively and offensively for the Rails this evening as a freshman. Gonna have a hold against Smith, I think that's gonna go. Nope, that's gonna go against Carlson. That's uh, it's weird. 
That's all I'm going to say is weird, and I'm not being a homer or anything. That's just weird. Nyans into the corner. This is Zubic. Zubic's going to drive back to the baseline, tries to get that floater up, doesn't fall, goes up and gets her own board. Now patting her stats, trying to keep going. That's two rebounds, two, rebounds, two shots. Thomas hits the two. Oh, they gave her a three on that. I think Carlson got another calf cramp. That was the problem against Crosby. I think Smith and Carlson both experienced calf cramps as well as a few people on the other team as well. Well, like you said, early in the season here, uh, you know, a lot of these uh, uh, young ladies do play other sports, but, you know, they they differ in how they do things in, in the constant running and the constant without a sub and things like that. Smith for three. Bang Big on. three right there. And tied up at 42. And the Rails needed that right there as we are almost halfway through second half action. Zubich turns, turns, now dumps it off. Nyans. Nyan's looking for somewhere to go, gives it off to Thomas to the far left side. This is Wida. Wida drives into the paint, now pushes it off. Lyra now drives right back, and she has the open shot as Nyan's for three. So Nyan's on the board for the first time tonight. MIB is doing a great job hitting those shots when they're open and taking advantage of those opportunities. Travel going to be called. Yep, saw that from up here. Savala is going to come in. Savala, pardon me, is going to come in for the Rangers. I know Mr. C is saying Savala. I called the school. They told me Savala. I think it's Savala. Is it Savala? The school was wrong? <laughs> don't, don't quote me on that. but Or maybe I wrote it wrong. Who knows? But we're going to go Savala. That's why I started as and then changed it to Savala. So we're going to go Savala. Nyans moves to her right inside. Zubic turns. Nice. Another, Another big block. block by Chloe. But the defense kind of stopped moving, and Nyans with two. Proctor has to take advantage of those O boards, or, or of those defensive those boards, defensive excuse boards. me. Yeah. They're at a little disadvantage with their height, but they just got to find a body and figure out a way. Walker. Carlson. Smith. Down low and Chacho Carlson. That was the right idea to Walker, just too high. Turnover. This is Zubic. And nice job by Walker again. Got a little bit of piece of that ball. And here they come. So Carlson been all over the place offensively and defensively. That would, if I would uh, call that a block, that would be her fourth block of the night. Actually, I think it's her fifth. Chacho Carlson now back to Evans. Yeah, Carlson doing great offensively. We'll see if can't get that shot to fall, but you know she'll make up for it on defense, I'm sure of it. Nyans with the easy layup. MIB so, is doing great in transition. So Nyans with uh, seven points here in the, all in the second half. So Nyans kind of picking up the space for Savile. Another turnover. And that is gonna be taken by Wida. Good hustle by Walker. Rita, an eighth grader for the Rangers. War was back into the game and taking a seat uh, is Lyra. And taking a seat is gonna be Chacho Carlson. And in for the rails is Jenna Hansen. And this is Zubic. Zubic's now gonna drive right back to the paint against Carlson. And Carlson just giving up some height on that one. But if it matters to you, Hope, those are the first two points for Zubic in this half. Wow, that's impressive. Rails down by nine. Carlson was going to take the shot, now puts it out to Hanson. Evans going to drive in, looking for some help. Soft pass. Those are those passes that we need to have a little bit of more uh, uh, urgency on instead of those soft passes like that so we can make sure they get through and we don't have our turnovers. Proctor's just having a hard time figuring out MIB's defense down there and where the open player is. Uh, Coach Brenna, if you're listening to answer your question, and I'll let her uh, say it, uh, the one, the only, Hope Carlson is with us on air. He's wondering who's doing the game with me. So he's want listening, so go ahead and you can say hi to Coach Brenna. Hello, Coach Brenna. I'm filling in for you tonight. So uh, filling in, I think you're doing a much better job. <laughs> and he can Maybe take that. Maybe stealing your spot, I guess. Yeah, down on the baseline, that was a drive there by Warwas. 
So Hope, you got to start thinking. Ten minutes left now. The, uh, the nine-point game. We got to start thinking about that Proctor Pizza Player of the Game and those three stars, uh, so we can have that before we get out of here. Five-second count. So nowhere to go with it. So another turnover on the rails, and uh, it is going to be MIB ball. And There's I just a total momentum flip, I'd say, from you know being tied at 42 to now. We'll see how Proctor responds to that. Uh, he says hi back to you. You can have his job and then you sound good. <laughs> so that bucket for Wolves, that's her first two of the bucket as well. And we got a timeout. We're going to take a timeout as well. And we'll be back right after a word from one of our sponsors. I've had this problem. Big problem. I really, really needed a good mechanic. And I kept searching and searching. <sighs> There are so many choices. It's really hard to find one that has all the things on my list. But I finally did it. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you. If you were looking for one as well, look no further. Here's a really good one. Just use mine. Use mine. I'm very satisfied. Definitely recommend. Problem gone. Thank you. Who will our next generation be? What will they achieve? At Proctor Public Schools, we see great things in the future as we create an environment to educate, engage, and inspire our students to seek adventure, gain knowledge, and make a difference. What do we see in the next generation? We see greatness. Proctor Public Schools. Don't just plan to graduate. Graduate with a plan. Oh, I, I always forget it's 30. So back, so back here at the rail yard, Ted keep it along with Hope Carlson on the call. The Rangers of MIB lead the rails 53-42. Rails have the ball. You know, we are talking during the break there, you know, coming into this being our first home game, I really thought uh, the shot clock would be a, a bigger uh, hindrance, if you will, you know, into this. Uh, and, you know, a, we had a lot of talk about it last year with Coach Brennan and myself and just in these games. And it doesn't really seem to be that big of a deal. Yeah, I think one of the big things is MIB's pressure. They're kind of speeding up Proctor and forcing them to play fast, which has, you know, resulted in us not really noticing the shot clock at all. Right. And that was a big turnover by Nelson, and she went coast to coast for two. That's her first two of the game. This is Carlson looking inside. Oh. Gianna went for the cut, didn't turn around and come back for it. And another turnover. Zubic for, did not get that to fall, and that's going to stay with the uh, Rangers as it goes off the trying to rebound hands of Evans. So again, fans, stay with us at the end of the game. We'll go to a couple of commercials. We'll come back with our three stars, that number one star being our Proctor Pizza player of the game. They'll get a free 12-inch uh, uh, single-topping pizza, a big three-pointer there by uh, Savala uh, to come back in. Savala, four fouls. She's the one in big foul trouble, but trying to play clean here and stay in this game. Yeah, if I was Proctor, I'd think about pressing right now and making sure we take away that middle. So again, we talk about getting that ball up above our head on the offensive side so that we can't be locked down and get in a possession arrow issue. Luckily, that possession arrow stays with the rails, so that'll be a rails ball. And uh, as you can see, Coach Solberg down there talking with Hanson. Got to get that ball up and protect it better. Hans, or pardon me, Smith in to Tapney now to Walker. Walker seeing a lot of minutes here as a freshman, but has done a pretty dang good job. And no foul called no there foul as it that. goes. And down with it is Nelson. Nelson gives it off to Zubic as the uh, Rangers have a host of players getting ready to check in. Nelson for three, and she hits it. Bada bang. Back to back threes. That's big for MIB. <laughs> he said, now just so you know, uh, he, he, said, he did say, uh, Never said that you could have his job, but he did say you sound good. So, okay, coach, I, I fixed it for you. There you go. Inside, Carlson out to Evans. Evans for three, can't get that to fall. Good but board Tappy. by Presley, muscling it down there. Checking in for 
So Kate Nelson, that draws her first, the team's third. Uh, and a uh, whole host of players uh, back in. So you're going to have uh, Lyra Zubic, uh, Savala. I'm trying to go through them all here. Nyans. And I'm missing one. Uh, and, and it's going to be Aubrey. Those are the five on the floor for the Great Rangers. Great defensive play by Lily Smith. And Smith, Walker, Evans, Carlson, and Tappany on the floor for your rails. That is Proctor's third charge of the night. You know, you gotta you gotta love that when you can sit there in the kitchen and plant your feet. And I know that, uh, you know, I, I gotta go back. I know he's watching, and I'm not saying it just because he's watching, but you know, he loves to talk about that kitchen work and taking those all or those defensive charges and making that, those offensive players just come down and look at it like, what, why? And, you know, so I know he'd be all over it. I hope he uh, says something that we can – wait, hold on, he's got something maybe. Oh, no, still nothing that she, that he never said that. But, yeah, I'm sure he'll uh, come back with something. Yeah, a little, a little incentive I know from Proctor is sometimes Solberg – That Gatorade Destin, thing, right? Yep. Yeah. Destin's a certain player or maybe multiple players where if you take a charge, you get a pack of whatever beverage you want. That happens to be bubblers for – most of us in past seasons, but I know Lily w loves her bubblers and she's gonna get a few packs after tonight. Yeah, I, I wanna be there uh, with the camera when he pays up, Evans for two. I wanna be there when he pays up because that'll, be, uh, that'll be pretty awesome. So the rails got some work to do to fight back into this. They gotta get back into the temple that we saw in the second half of the first half, if that makes sense. Uh, that last, uh, eight to ten minutes uh, in the uh, first half where we really kind of changed the tempo and not allow MIB to just run on us. Smith the inbound it now getting the count. This is into Carlson. Carlson that was able to get on the front side of Nyans and beat her across half court. Walker, three, bingo, bingo, bingo. Four for four on the night. So Walker with 14 points and helping to cut into this lead. Now just got to get a good defensive stance. Smith defensively there against Nyans. This is Zubic inside. Savala pushes it back out to Nyans. Nyans tries to paint. Can't get it to fall down Good in the way in the hands Smith. Of, of Smith. Absolutely. Cut me off anytime. Sorry. No, no, sorry. no. Cut me off anytime. I got no problems with it. Just keep going. Take it. It's yours. Pushes it out. Carlson can't get that to fall, but tapping right there for the board. Fights back again. Pushes it up again and gets at the fall. Good job on Tappany. Two, two shots, one made, two boards. This is outside. This is to Lyra. Lyra can't get that to fall, but on it is Savala. And in, back inside to Aubrey, but foul taken as she is crunched between Walker and Tappany. Not sure who that one's going to go on. That's going to go on Tappany. Uh, which uh, is her third uh, and team's fifth. So kind of uh, still in this, that same foul idea as where, but uh, a lot longer into this second half before uh, we had to see it. So missing the first one is Aubrey. Yeah, those, those offensive and defensive rebounds are gonna be key to this game and not letting MIB or Proctor get that second chance. Absolutely, Lola Willie's checking, Lola Witty checking in for her first action of the night and Aubrey hits the second of the two. <coughs> Evans now to Carlson, brings it up over half court, now takes a left, right, steps back, jumper, and hits the three. Got it. Carlson hits her first three of the game and helps to cut this back to 10. 19 point lead three minutes ago. Ooh. And Carlson gonna draw the foul on the defensive charge. So that'll be her third, team sixth. Sometimes that's just the way it goes. You miss, miss a wide open three, but you get one that counts. And then sometimes that call doesn't go your way on the defensive side. 100%, you know, oops. But the uh, the the uh, the part to think about there, and, and you know, it, it the fouls when we get down to about this five and a half mark, right? Fouls are like timeouts; you can't take them with you. You know, and no, we don't yep. want it. We don't want to commit it, but 
if it's there and we've got them to give, it's better to give them than put them on the line. Zubic pushes it out. This is Nyans. Hits it for three. So Nyans with another three as she comes up. MIB has just been unstoppable on their three-point game tonight. Ten, point, ten points in this half for Nyans. Witta. Witty pushes it. Evans back out to Carlson. Carlson for three. Soft touch. Bit close side of the iron. Down with the board. Good is board Savala. by Lira. Yeah, Lyra, not Savala. Thank you for correcting Because oh. <laughs> I said Savala, and you were like, Lyra, and I went, yeah, I was, that's 10. That's still, not three. I was still searching for the name when you said it. I didn't even realize. No, it's good because you, we got it on right. Witty now comes up left side. Witty, another one of those ones that you talked about in the gym a lot. Evans for three. Evans went into the gym before the game. I love it. That's, it I mean, it's just awesome, right? So cut it back to 10. Four and a half minutes here. The Rails need to get some defensive stops as Thomas for the uh, Rangers getting ready to come back in. Stops it outside. and scores. That's the name Nines of the game. Nines for three. Nines on fire. So Nines keeping the Rangers from allowing the Rails to dwindle this lead down. Witty can't get that to fall, but chases her own board. That's something you don't see anymore. Yeah. Chase your own board. I love that. What? We got a Nyans and Walker competing. Both been great three-point shooters and great defensively tonight. And both freshmen. Isabel Witta, Witta in uh, for, uh, for the Rangers. Chacho Carlson will take a seat, and Lily Smith back into the game. Need that defense here for that last four minutes. And uh, Smith uh, definitely there, sitting with no foul. So if we have to, she's probably the one to give. Outside, Weta can't get it to fall down with his Good Smith. board by Smith. Carlson drives up, now looking for help. Gives it off. Evans looking for somebody to move, looking for some help. Back to Carlson. Carlson now makes... Nyan's move and foul oh. on the floor. That's going to go Nyan's. Yep, that's going to go against Nyan's. That's her fourth. But again, you can't take him with you, so at least yeah. she has it to give. But that's a floor foul, so no shooting. And uh, Smith with the inbound. Biggest thing about foul trouble is you just got to stay st smart and strong the rest of the game. Carlson. Almost fell over, but gives it to Evans. Evans with a quick three. Can't get that to fall, but right into the Lord waiting right. hands of Witty. Nice move by. Wow. Wow, wow. What a play. He's right by Smith. You had to like she that. She read that like a book. Wow. Broken ankle and made the shot in the corner. Nyance can't get that one to fall. Down with it. Big block. Lira. Got the board, though. And Wida drops it for two. That's where those rebounds come into play. I mean, that wouldn't have happened if they would have gotten that, that first, first one. one. Yep. Smith, oh, going to get called for a travel. She just, she walked before she dribbled. She's Proctor looking. just has to keep their composure right now. They can't play scared, but they also have to know that they're 13 behind and they might need to take some chances. But is this a time where, you know, where coach has to take that time out to have that that top, that conversation. Hey, take a breath. I, I'd okay. say so. If MIB scores this play, I say timeout and come out in a one-two-two. Gotcha. Save a lot. Into the corner for Lyra. This is Thomas. Save a lot. Zubich for two. Haven't heard that name too much here in the second half. It's been her supporting cast. It's really been putting up the points, especially Nyans. Smith almost got trucked. Nothing called there, but able to pick it up off the floor was Chacho Carlson. This is Walker for three. Fifth one of the night. So Walker with three, cuts it back to 12, and there's your timeout. We're going to take a quick timeout as well. We'll uh, hear from a couple sponsors. We'll be back right after this. Proctor Pizza and Sub Shop. Proctor Pizza offers baked pizza, unbaked pizza, subs, 
tacos, wraps, salads, tater tots, nachos, burritos, and more. Proctor's local family business for over 35 years. Proctor Pizza offers brand new monthly specials, such as the taco pizza, bacon cheeseburger pizza, Hawaiian pizza, and more. Proctor Pizza. I mean, think about... Well, I guess we're back, even though I wanted us to play two commercials. Uh, and uh, your camera froze. So we'll have to fix that. we got to figure out why that's freezing. Uh, they're going to get that fixed back up for you. Uh, but coming out of the timeout, 2.15 left here, 72-60, the Rangers lead uh, here uh, in the late goings of the uh, second half. Proctor oh, that's a travel. travel. Good defense by Proctor. Wida with the travel for the Rangers. That'll turn it over, so it'll go over the other 22 for the Rails, and Smith, who will inbound the ball. Looking for some movement. Got to get something now up over Wida into the waiting hands of Evans. Back to Smith. Camera's back. There you go. Now going to drive into the paint. She's going to try to do it herself. Gets beat on. But Chacho Carlson runs into a wall with no foul called on either (laughs) side. But ball's going to stay with the Rails. 24 seconds on the shot clock. Needing a towel on the floor. Um, yeah. Uh, Nelson back. Okay, Nelson back into the game. Thomas going to take a seat again. Uh, not sure why. Uh, Thomas has been a little bit better defensively. Uh, Nelson has been great on the shot, which I get that. But, you know, with a 12-point lead, you probably want to protect that more and play and protect instead of defend and protect. Walker, nice. Crossover. Chacho Carlson nowhere to go. Looking for help inside to Evans. Pushes it back out. This is Carlson. Carlson now drives into the paint. Foul going to be on the floor. Looks like that's going to go against... Lyra, and it does. Both teams in bonus next foul. Gabby Lyra uh, called for that, and that's the team sixth here in the second half. And this is Evans. Evans looked to pop, but then gave it up, and got oh. can't get that to fall and down with it. Is Grimmed in and out. Into the corner. This is Nelson. Nelson's been on uh, a little bit of a tear when she's been in the game. Her uh, last few minutes, she was able to get five and hit Good both Good deflection by Smith. Now she's going to try to go the other way. Nelson and foul on Got Nelson. Got the call. So Smith draws the foul on the way. That'll be Nelson's second, team seventh, and going to the line is going to be Smith. These are two big free throws. Being down 12 could cut it to potentially down by 10. With a minute and a half, roughly minute and a half. And she hits the first. the first one. Aubrey back in and Nyan's back in. Uh, defensively now the rail's got to be really smart with Nyan's back into the game because she's been on fire here in the second half. Smith hits them both. So Smith right now shooting 100% from the line. Uh, That's a big free throw right there. Yeah, it is. Evans uh, draws the foul. Her first team seven. For potentially two. I'm guessing it will be two because she's a shooter. But we will see. Well, she went to the line in the first half and hit one of of two. So uh, hopefully by me saying that might help with that same idea, which so far has proven to be false. (laughs) Zubic just a great player. Again, want to welcome in the Proctor faithful and also welcome in those from uh, Mount Iron Beale that are joining us, and she does hit them both. Uh, quality player uh, is Zubic. I, she's going to have fun at the college level. She's really For sure, uh, and gonna, she's going to dominate with her range too. Yeah, and she's got foul going to be called, and she's got a full game. It's, you know, a lot of times, you know, especially – you think Northern Minnesota, a lot of players are have a singular side of the game or a little bit here and a little bit there. She's got a full game, defensively, offensively, and her shooting range is just off the charts. Did I tell anybody anything they didn't already know? 
And Carlson hits first of two as uh, that foul uh, was taken by Susie Aubrey, and that is her second. Team's eighth. And Carlson hits them both. <coughs> So uh, Coach Brennan's uh, chiming in here as we are about uh, one minute. Gritty players are like launchbox kids, hard-nosed floor diving charge takers. Every coach wants them. Proctor has a roster full of them. Uh, and so uh, he he's agrees exactly what, uh, what we talk about. So Chacho Carlson uh, drawing that foul. That'll be the ninth uh, for, or pardon me, the eighth for the rails. Almost put that, almost charged it to Charger, Charger Carlson, but gave it to the team of the Rangers. That's what I love about this rail team. Whether you're down by 11, down by one, up by two, they never stop going at it. Well, this could have been, a, I mean, let's talk about it this way, Hope. This really could have been, I mean, they're not going to do much with a minute left here. Let's just be square yeah. unless something miraculous happens like this. Bingo. And I'm going to keep saying stuff like that so it keeps <laughs> happening. But, I mean, because, you know, we were just down by 11. We're now down by 9. Yeah. So, I mean, it's one of those things. But, you know, it's in the first half, before we hit that 10, 9-minute mark, right, we were seeing a team in, in MIB who looked like they were going to come out here and trump us. Yeah. You know, and, and it, but this team didn't change. I mean, 54 seconds on the clock. Possession is a possession, you know. So the nice thing is, is to watch these guys come out against the number one team and see, like you said, how they're, doesn't matter if we're down by 11 or we're down by 20, they're hard-nosed, they're in it, they're playing this game. And that's that's one of the things I love about doing the basketball games here is that, that you see that. The score doesn't always reflect it, but you see that, and that's just a ton of fun. Yeah, one of my favorite sayings is, Big players make big plays and big games, and Proctor's had a few of those these last few possessions with Smith and Carlson sinking both of their free throws at the net three. Yeah, yeah you're, and you're 100% right. It's, it's, in, it's all about that, you know, get two turnovers here quick, two yep. quick buckets, you're looking at a four-point game. Stops and scores, that's all there is to it. So here we go as the Rails get ready to uh, protect heavy here at the court. Carlson against Zubic. Now this over to Savala. Travel on Savala. There's that turnover. Good so run and jump there by Proctor. Only five seconds off the clock. Again, anything possible here. Rails could be chasing an upset. We'd love to see that here, especially in our gym, and really kind of show what this team has to offer. Carlson, going to get it down the floor quick, not use too much time. Inside the Chacho Carlson pushes it out to Walker. Walker for three. Oh, off oh, the iron and so into the close. waiting hands of Zubic. Zubic, not one you want to foul. This goes into the hands of Lyra. Now Zubic. Now this is where that uh, shot clock comes in, but when you're only on a five-second difference, not much of an issue there. And a foul going to be called. I think that's going to go against – I thought it was going to go against Carlson, but it goes against Evans. That will be her second. Not, team's ninth. Not ideal fouling Zubic with her – shooting ability but right. when she has the ball and you have to stop the clock there's not much you can do there well they took 20 seconds off the clock there as as they moved around and even with the with the shot clock you know they were able to use 20 seconds off and so you know they had to go out there and get something done uh and try to come back and and do something here with 23.6 so carlson gonna drive it up she gives it off to walker smith Smith for three, and Sinks bingo. It. Smith been on a tear here in the second half, and Carlson going to draw the foul here as going to the line is going to be Zubic, and that is in the bon double bonus, so she will shoot two. That's one of nope. the great things about yeah. Zubic is she's so tall, and she can shoot, but she can also post up, and when you're the point guard, that ball is most likely going to be your, in your hands at the end of the game. And when you need something to foul, that's not the best case for the defense. Absolutely, as uh, Zubic hits the first and the second. 
So back to a 10 point game here. And here come the rails, 10 seconds left, five, four. Carlson up for two to cut it back to eight. And that's the game, your final. Proctor never stopped going at it, tied it up two or three times, but in the end, MIB was just too good offensively sinking. How many, 10 threes, 11, more than that. Absolutely, we're gonna take a quick break. We're gonna take a break, and we'll be back right after this. In Sub Shop, Proctor Pizza offers baked pizza, unbaked pizza, subs, tacos, wraps, salads, tater tots, nachos, burritos, and more. Proctor's local family business for over 35 years. Proctor Pizza offers brand new monthly specials, such as the taco pizza, bacon cheeseburger pizza, Hawaiian pizza, and more. Proctor Pizza. Can't hear the TV? Need to protect your hearing? Audiology Concepts connects patients to their lives again by offering ear cleanings, providing earplugs for protection in loud environments, and helping people get hearing aids. Audiology Concepts also offer hearing evaluations, verification of hearing aids, and hearing aid repairs. There are seven different locations across Minnesota and Wisconsin. Audiology Concepts, you'll love what you hear. Proctor's Reed Foundation was established to enable life-enriching academic, art, and athletic activities which cannot rely on traditional funding in the Proctor School District communities. Reed has provided grants for the Imagination Library, numerous sports teams, Rails TV, A Night to Shine, The Playground for Everybody, and most recently, Reed helped the Proctor Fire Department invest in life-saving handheld thermal devices. Visit rea3d.org to learn more about how you can support Reed and help your community. And back here at the rail yard, Ted keep it along with Hope Carlson, your final for the home opener here against the Mount Iron Field Rangers, 80 to 72. You know, let's just kind of recap a little bit, Hope. We talked about it a lot there in that last two and a half minutes. Quality game, both sides of the ball, and honestly, with such a young rails team, uh, I'm trying to think of the right word. I I'll just go with, the future looks super bright. Oh yeah, I mean, definitely. I just, I, I can't believe that over the course of this season that they're, they're not gonna get stronger and really start to see some really good things out of these younger players. Yeah, I think I think having no seniors is kind of a blessing in, the, in disguise because it forces those younger players to step up and kind of be, be the older players that they don't have on the team. So they have someone to rely on. And then once going forward, you already have played together and you know what it's like going, playing against harder competition. Right, absolutely. Well, let's jump into our, excuse me, let's jump into our three players of the game, or our three stars of the game. Uh, I'll, I'll let you take number three. Who's your third star of the game? All right, we gotta go with Lily Smith. I, I would I would concur with that. You know, played hard. We talked a lot of, a lot about Lily and, and the defensively uh, and being in there on that on the turnover battle defensively and always being in the right spot, um, but also being that that junior leader. Yeah. Uh, on the floor. I mean, that's where that's what I saw out of her. Uh, but that's what we've seen out of her even when she was playing with you last year. Yeah, for sure. She definitely stepped up this year. I mean especially last year too, whether it be offensively, defensively, but tonight we saw her crashing the O-boards, her taking a charge, or hitting two big threes, sinking her free throws. She definitely deserved this spot. Well, and think about it. She had two points in the first half, finished with finished with 15 because she had 13, or finished with 14, no, thir 15, I'm right, because she had 13 in the second half. Yeah, that's our lunchbox yeah, right 100%, there. 100%. Um, I'll give you the second star uh, as we were kind of talk, trying to talk back and forth about who it should be, but I think uh, it's got to be MIB's Jordan Zubic. Uh, you know, she comes out a, a half with 16, finishes with, let's see, 16, 16. Uh, hopefully uh, he'll stop that for us. 
16, 18, 20, 2, 4, 6, 27 uh, for uh, Zubic tonight. Uh, hold on, folks. Give me one second. Um, um, so, I mean, huge night. Not only uh, how many, did she take a break? I don't think she did. I don't think I saw no. her off the floor. And, and all we could do was say that that was the name we were going to say all night. Yep. And it, and it proved to be true. She was all over the offensive and defensive side of the floor. Um, and she was part of everything that was going on. So uh, that would be my second star. I would give that to Zubic. Yeah, I totally it, agree. Very cool. Uh, and our Proctor Pizza player of the game, our first star, uh, what do we got? Peyton Walker. I mean, I talked to her mom before this game, ironically, and she said that Peyton was a little disappointed in herself after that Crosby game, but that happens with being a freshman, playing your first varsity minutes, and rebounding from that tonight, sinking four threes back to back to back to back, and, you know, contributing offensively and defensively with her deflections, rebounds, assists. I think she's totally deserving of this. Oh, absolutely. You know, you figure she finished with 17 points on the night. Uh, her first home game, which no matter what happened at Crosby, playing at home your first varsity game, is you could she could have won the game for him in Crosby, and this means more because you're yeah. in front, you're at home, you're in your gym, and it just makes a difference. So, you know, for coming out that pressure, being a freshman, she didn't look like she was under pressure. No, she didn't look like a freshman either. I mean, she looks super comfortable out there, whether it be her handles or driving to the basket, shooting when she's open. She did a phenomenal job in keeping her composure throughout the game. Absolutely. So there's our three stars of the game. Lily Smith at three, uh, Jordan Zubic uh, from MIB at two, and your Proctor Pizza player of the game uh, is none other than Peyton Walker, the freshman who came in and dropped 17 here at home tonight. And I can't believe that that's not going to go. That that won't grow uh, as she gets uh, more minutes and and becomes even possibly. Hate to say it, but if she keeps playing like this, not only will she be that sixth man uh, or person, if you will, but she might even start to get some of those starting minutes. Yeah, yeah, nothing beats playing good at home, and that definitely contributes to your confidence going forward. Absolutely. So uh, let me uh, just uh, do a little bit uh, of paper uh, uh, paperwork here for the folks. Uh, thank our sponsors, the Reed Foundation, the Rails Endowment for Academic Art and Athletic Development, Irving Community Club Polling for Kids, Tamarack Building Supplies up on Highway 53 in Hermantown, Heritage Window and Door, Superior, Wisconsin, with his trailer sales in Esco, Stream Dudes. For all your streaming needs, StreamDudes.com, Great Lakes Office Solutions, the Robin Barb Shaler Charitable Foundation, Troy Service Center, Main Street, Proctor, Audiology Concepts with seven locations, Superior, Duluth, Grand Rapids, Forest Lake, Cambridge, Edina, and Burnsville, and Proctor Pizza and Sub Shop Main Street, Proctor. Head on down to any of our sponsors. Tell them we sent you. They'd love to hear that, they're, uh, that uh, their help is helping them as well. Uh, also, where our students that were with us tonight, our leadership student, Aaron Hag, our director, producer, Luke Smith, uh, our camera operator, Zach Edelstedt, and on our scoreboard and technical guru, the one and only Haley McDonald. Uh, thank you to all of our students for everything they do. And a, a huge thank you to the one and only Hope Carlson. Thank you for coming. You know, I'm sitting here without a voice, uh, having to turn my gain up so high just so I can be heard. Uh, and, like, I walked through the gym, grabbed you by the hood of your jacket, <laughs> and basically <laughs> drug you across the gym, and you did it without even a single fight. So, Thank you so much for being part of this and being here. Thank you for having me. I mean, I love being here. I love supporting my teammates. And most of all, I love basketball, so it's good to be back. Well, there's the deal. I'm going to figure out where I can find a third headset uh, <laughs> because even when the, when Coach Brenna gets back, I'm going to have a third headset in here. And any time you're in the gym, you come join us. We'll put the three of us on, and we'll reminisce. We'll talk game, and, and it'll just be a blast. I love that. So, Thank you so much. Absolutely. So you're always welcome. Uh, we, uh, I think, uh, hey, Luke, can you tell me when we're on air next? Can you bring up that uh, that uh, Dealy Majabi? Nope, 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 nope. Go back. Stop. Go back to the we, we video. We video. We video. There you go. Go to your scoreboard page. Scoreboard. Now bring up the tile there, push number four. Nope, nope, nope. Okay, that works too. Uh, when are we on air next? Uh, the 30th, next week, or no? 
Today is the 30th. We will be on air again with girls basketball on the 5th next week on Tuesday uh, when we'll have two harbors uh, here uh, against uh, our rails when uh, they'll face off again. I did, I did get that right, correct? December 5th against two harbors? Yep, I was just checking my schedule. I practice 4 to 6, so maybe I'll be back here. Hold on a second. What? I'm being yelled at by one of our students, but hey, whatever. Well, on behalf of myself, Hope, all our students and our sponsors, we want to thank you for stopping by again. Your final score, 80-72. MIB goes to 3-1. and one. The rails drop to 0-2. We'll be back on the air next Tuesday, the 5th of December, when the uh, Agates from Two Harbors will come a-knocking against our rails right here at the rail yard. Until then, thanks for stopping by. We'll see you next time. We're at a crossroads. From time to time, a section of rail needs repair, but that doesn't mean the whole line needs replacement. The same way being proud of your history doesn't mean you're stuck in the past. No, we're not stuck. We hear the whistle blowing and we're inspired. Inspired by the legacy of the people who transformed this terrain into a rail yard that supplied America with the ore needed to win world wars. We're inspired by our unshakable identity, hanging tight like David facing down Goliaths, and we're moved by stories of our community's kindness. No matter who needs help, neighbors pitch in and get the job done. Hushed and humbled are more at play than pontification, but don't for one second think that means Proctor is a simple small town. It was built as a company town and it continues down the tracks of time. And this rail revival is our destination.